Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will learn the commutative property of addition. The commutative property of addition. This rule tells us that add-ins, which are numbers, can be added in any order, and the sum, or the answer, will not change. For example, here we have 4 plus 6. We know that 4 plus 6 equals 10. Now, if we change the order of the add-ins, the 4 and the 6, and we do 6 plus 4, we know that the sum will still be 10, even if we change the order of the add-ins. 3 plus 6 equals 9, so 6 plus 3 must also equal 9. Here we have 3 counters, and if we add 6 more counters, we know we have a total of 9. Now, if we start with the 6 counters first, and we add 3 counters, we notice that our sum will still be 9. 5 plus 9 equals 14. We have 5 and we're adding 9 more, which we know gives us a total of 14. So that means if we add 9 plus 5, we will also get 14. Here we notice we have 9 plus 5 and our whole or total is still 14. Here we have 3 plus 2. We know that 3 plus 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 3. Those are equal. So we know that if we have three green apples and we add two red apples, that will be equal to or the same exact thing as adding two apples first and then adding the three green apples. Both sides are still just five apples. Two gummy bears plus six gummy bears is going to be the same thing as six gummy bears plus two gummy bears because two plus six equals 6 plus 2. Both sides will still give us just 8 gummy bears. Remember, if we change the order of the add-ins, the sum will be the same. So here we have 4 hot air balloons, and if we add 2 more hot air balloons, will be the same thing as having 2 hot air balloons plus 4 hot air balloons. Both will give us a sum of 6 hot air balloons. Remember, add-ins can be added in any order, and the sum will not change. Oh, <laughs>